Hi everyone and welcome to Yo Dance with Katie. I'm Katie and I'm excited to be live streaming from my home here in Nottingham today where in a few moments time I'm going to be teaching a yo dance class to get you motivated and moving body, mind and soul. It's being live streamed to all my social media platforms at the same time. So let me know you're here, give a comment, say hi, put a thumbs up. It'd be wonderful to share that connection with you. And the best way to watch the class and follow the class is on your smart TV with YouTube and the YouTube app. It gives you a nice big screen and um, uh, excellent sound quality. I've lost the words there. Um, nice big screen, excellent sound quality, and you can find me at Yo Dance with Katie. So, what are we doing today? So, in today's class, we've got warm up, isolations, and dance. And uh, that's to get your circulation going, your isolations to mobilize your joints, and dance to get your coordination followed by a sequence of yoga postures to strengthen stretch and balance and then I'll wrap it all up with a guided meditation and this week I've got a wonderful chakra video that I've created and edited to go along with the meditation. It's going to be relaxing, enjoyable and fun and colourful. The theme this week is colour so um, it's all you need to lift your day in a positive way. And before we get started, a quick health and safety check. Make sure you've cleared a safe space to exercise in. Remember, we're all unique and different. So if the exercises don't suit you, miss them out, join back in when you can, or do something that suits you better. Um, you can just do the arms, just do the legs or do it all together. Um, so you can even do this class sitting down if you prefer. I can see on my screen that there's some of my Yo Dance originals here joining me today. Thank you. I can see that you're watching. Some of you watching on YouTube. Hi, Christine and Robert. Great you could join me. Fabulous. And I've got Jane there. Thank Fabulous Jane. Thank you. There's um, also Trisha and Ian again in Lincoln. Nice to have you back again. So thanks for joining me. I hope you'll enjoy the class. So create yourself a little space and get ready to find your why. See you in a moment. So starting in Tadasana Mountain Pose, we'll say our Yo Dance affirmation three times on the exhale. So breathing in, I would say I am happy, I am healthy, I am strong. Inhale, I am happy, I am healthy, I am strong. Inhale, I am happy, I am healthy, I am strong and carry that positive intention throughout the class today. We'll do a quick posture check before we get going. So feet about hip width apart, soft knees, lengthen the tailbone, pull the tummy button in, roll the shoulders back and down, grow tall through the crown of the head so you've got a nice straight back and keep that tall, strong posture throughout the class. I'll walk you through the moves for the warm up. do them with me and then we'll put it to music. We've done this one once before, so it might feel familiar if you're redoing the class. So we've got two side steps with a clap, two side steps with a clap. That's the first move. You've got it nice and simple. Then we've got hands, hands. So we do a side step and the arm roll. Next is a V step, so the legs go wide, the arms follow. Excellent, so we're making that V on the floor and a V with the arms. And then we've got a push push, which is a half jack with a heel dig and the pushes with the arms. We'll add them to the music. I'll add them on and tell you what to do as we go. So music please, a great track called Spread the Love. 
two side steps now. That's it, so stand tall. Shoulders back and down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We're warming up. Raising that heart rate. Stop here, hands, hands. That's good, so keep the tummy pulled in tight. Soft knees, squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. And breathe, and breathe, breathe. Let's pop those together. Whoa. Two side steps now. Stay here, hands, hands. That's good. And again, two side steps. Keep that tummy pulled in tight. Hands, hands. Let's go with the V. Forwards and back. Keep that tummy in tight. Nice big steps, or you can do them small if they don't have to be big. From the top, two side steps. Excellent. Oh, I've forgotten to be doing on me. <laughs> you can tell this is live. <laughs> Getting carried away. From the top, but push, push. We'll get back on track. There we go. Half jack. Heel digs, stand tall, we're warming up, getting that heart rate going. We're going to add it on, we will this time, from the top. That's good, hands, hands here. It's too busy enjoying the music. And a thing. Push, push. From the top again. So keep that breathing going. Hands, hands here. Push, push. We've got some extra pushes here. Keep that back nice and straight. Good. Four more. From the top. Two side steps. Hands, hands here. Let's be. And push, push. Through. Hands, hands on, here. You got it. You should be feeling warmer. And the push, push to finish. So hopefully you're warm. We've got our hearts going, breathing rate going. Our muscles are ready for the next stage. We're going to isolate the joints from the neck all the way down to the ankles. But we're going to start with some simple wiggles to a great track called Take a Picture. Are you ready? That's it. Head turn now. Hey, 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 take a picture. Good, keep that tall posture till the head. Hey, hey, take a picture. And nod the head. Nice slow controlled movements. Hey, 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 take Excellent, a on to shoulder shrugs. Add a knee bend, weight in the heels, squatting down, and roll the shoulders forwards, and back, we're going to do a hip circle and arm circle, one way, and the other way, side bends, keep the back nice and straight, Squeeze the bottom, shoulders back and down, tummy tight, and twist. Big deep breaths. Excellent. Onto our hips. Slow. Double time. Pelvic tilt forwards and backwards. So reaching forwards. Bend. Circle one way and the other way. Figure up eight. Slow and quick. Slow, slow, quick. And again. And quick. Excellent. On to knee lifts. 
Keep your back nice and straight, pull the tummy in, lift the knees. Remember, you don't have to, you can keep them tapping to the floor if you prefer. Everybody wants to share it with you. Strong, straight back, big deep breaths, hamstring curl. Two more toe taps here. Other side. On to heel lift. Jazz hands. Can't beat a bit of jazz hands. Fabulous. So we've isolated the joints all the way down the body, got our bodies nice, supple, and fluid, mobilizing those joints. Next, we're going to do our dance. It's a nice flowing one. Yo Dance Originals, if you've got your scarves anywhere handy, grab those because it flows nicely. I'll teach you the moves and then we'll put it to music. So we've got a big arm circle to start, really simple. Then we've got some sweeps with the arms. So this is our choreography. As you sweep with the arms, we're going to do a bend and point. So keep that back nice and straight. You might take it deeper, but do keep the back nice and straight still in that movement. Then we've got an up and down. So the arms go up and down. You, if you're just doing the arms, that's what you'll stick with. Or you might like to bend the knees and come down. You might keep the head and heart up. Or if you're fine, you can go all the way down and up. So there's selection there. Then the next arm movement is I could technically call the swoosh. Yeah, good technical name. So we've got a swoosh. So one arm sweeps around the head, the other sweeps to the side. Sweep. And then we've got the open the curtains. Imagine you're on the stage and you're going to step through the curtains. And that links with the legs. So we've got for those two arm moves, we've got the curtain, we've got the mambo. So it's forward, back, replace, forward, back, replace. And you can see at the moment, I'm keeping my hips nice and still. So hips nice and still. Or you can add in a wiggle there. When you come forward, you need to be on the balls of your feet. With the arms, it goes swoosh, swoosh, ta-da, ta-da. And then we've got one more move. We've got circles with the arms to one side, circles with the arms the other way to the side. And the legs go pendulum round one way and the other way. Remember, you don't have to put the little hop in. You can step if you prefer. So you can find your own flow. It's to a lovely track called I See Colours. So let's put it, music standing nice and tall. Sway now. What do you see when you look around? So you can see if you haven't got the scars, you could use lovely scars with this. Try and follow your arms. Up and down, move with the squat. What do you see when you and down. So I'm looking at you at the moment, but then we're going to put in that lovely contemporary style. Float. Swoosh. Mambo. Slow controlled. Ta-da, through the curtains. Good. And swoosh. Through the curtains. Really stretch those arms, sway to the side. So keep that back nice and straight. Feel your tummy muscles working, so pull them into height. And then to our up and down squat. Remember, you might just be doing the arms, or you might go all the way down. Back to our swoosh. Swoosh forwards and swoosh. Oh, my camera disappeared for a moment. Live TV, hey? And curtains. Good. Two more curtains. And pendulum. 
circle the arms. Nice and slow. So you can take it lower if you prefer. Or you can keep it nice and small. We've got sway. So remember, you can keep this small, or you can really put some freestyling up and down. Oh, that's a funny camera angle. <laughs> Gonna be up to you and me. Good. Finish with some swoosh of colour. And again. Two more like that. And again. The curtain move. You've got it. Twice more like that. Almost there. Swoosh to finish. One either side, and then a big finish position, however you fancy. Oh, I'm in my why. So we've built up that prana, that life force energy with our dancing. We're going to move on to some yoga now to strengthen, stretch and balance. So grab yourself a yoga mat. It, don't worry if you haven't got one, it's not essential. It just makes it more comfortable and mind focused for that yoga. Best to be done in bare feet. So I'm going to whip off my trainers and I'll see you on the mat. So standing tall into Darsana Mountain Pose, we've built up that positive energy and now we're going to connect within, so tune into ourselves, be mindful in our movements, focus within on the self and yoga is about unity, unity of body, mind and soul. So just pause for a moment, close the eyes connect with the soles of the feet and feel the body strong lengthen the tailbone down to the floor pull the tummy in lift through the crown of the head and focus on the breath take a nice big deep breath in and as you exhale feel that calm composure balanced stable and comfortable to Darsana and today's postures we're going to work on are tree warrior two and deep forward fold so press the palms together we'll do the arms first as you press the palms together at heart center pull the shoulder blades back and down relax the shoulders back and down and feel strong in the upper body you might stay there if you know tree, go straight on in, by the way. Don't wait for me if you know it and you're confident. If you're working just on the arms, then you might choose to take them above the head and open up those shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades back and down and hold that position. Those are arm positions. Remember, you don't have to progress. We'll move on to the legs. So standing strong and tall, transfer the weight onto one foot, pick up the heel. You might stay there. Remember, you don't need to move on. Sometimes keeping it simple is what's right for us. Then bring that foot into the ankle, calf, or above the knee on the thigh. Find the position that suits you. Don't worry if you wobble. It's about taking a risk, but then coming back to where you feel comfortable, balanced, and focused. So you might keep your arms at heart centre or take them up. Keep that core strong. Lengthen the tailbone and focus on the breath. 
working really hard on focus, concentration and balance. Also focusing on the ankle, knee and hip of that standing leg. Open up the hip of the bent leg. Working the core stabilizers of the body. Then slowly bring the arms back to heart center. Release, come back to center. Have a little bit of a wiggle and a shake if you want to reach up and exhale. And unity, so what we do on one side, we do on the other. So hands to heart center and transfer the weight onto the other foot. Pick up the heel, stand tall. You might stay there or bring it to the ankle, turning out the knee, to the calf or to the thigh. Wherever you choose to be today, remember you might be fine just here or just here. Remember to be happy and content exactly as you are today. If you'd like to challenge yourself more, then you might want to take your arms up, open up those elbows. You might even like to try wherever you are with your eyes closed. Feel the body working hard to keep you in that balanced posture. Focus on a point, focus on the breath, lengthen the tailbone, grow tall through the spine. Feel the standing leg, the foot rooting down into the earth. Strong, stable, balanced. And then bring those hands back to heart center. Release the foot. Have a little bit of a wiggle and a shake. Reach up. Exhale and bring the hands to shoulder height. Lengthen the arms away. Have a look and check they're at shoulder height. Really stretch those arms out. Warrior two. We're going to take a nice big step forwards. And remember, some days you just want to keep it simple. You can do it much wider legs and the front knee, but more so the thighs parallel to the ground. Or you can straighten that front leg, or you can bring the feet in so you've got a smaller stance. If you find you're wobbling, you might take your feet to either side of the mat to find that balance. I better get balanced, don't I? <laughs> it's one of those days. We all have them. So have a look and check and see that knee is in line with your ankle. Check to you see your big toe so you're not dropping your knee in, it's staying out. Have a look at the back foot, check it's pointing 45 degrees. Some people feel more comfortable like that, that's fine. It's about listening to your body, what's right for you. As I say, we're all unique and different. Have a look at the back hand, check it's shoulder height. Have a look at the front hand. Tailbone lengthened, weight through both legs evenly, up through the crown of the head, grow tall, and then gaze at that front middle finger. Focus on the breath and say to yourself, I am strong, I am powerful, I'm a warrior. And then step that foot in. What we do one side, we do to the other. Take a nice big step forward. Have a check. One hand's at shoulder height, the other at shoulder height. Look down, check, you can see your big toe. Don't let that knee drop in, so open up those hips. Hips and shoulders to the side of the mat if you're doing the stand. If you're just doing the arms, lengthen them out the other way. Lengthen the tailbone, grow tall through the crown of the head. Gaze at that front middle finger. Weight evenly through both feet. Standing strong. And say to yourself, I am comfortable. I'm stable. I am balanced. And then bring the hands back to heart center and the feet in. I'm going to move on to forward fold. So before we do that, we just give ourselves a little hug. Hug in, rounding the shoulders, chin to chest, hold that there. And then open up, open up the chest, squeeze the elbows together, a little arch of the back. And then again, put, put the other hand on top this time. Give yourself a bit of self care, a little bit of a hug, opening up those shoulder blades. 
and then reaching back. So we're going to keep those shoulders back and down, opening up the chest. So a nice broad chest. And then you might stay with your feet nice and close together, take them apart. And today we'll do that with our knees bent to start with. And we're just going to hinge forwards at the hips. Remember any... Um, any problems with balance, vertigo, etc., or high, really high blood pressures, keep your heart and head, head above the heart. Keep those shoulder blades pulled back. Keep nice low forward fold and just pause here. If you're seated, focus on the breath. You might like to come forward in your, as you lean forwards, take your hands down now and hold onto your elbows and maybe just rock from side to side. Knees bent, you might let the hands flop to the floor. Let the head go, give it a nod, yes and no. Take a nice big deep breath, keeping those legs bent. And then extend the arms away and lift, push through the heels all the way up. And then take those arms open wide open the heart to the universe maybe close your eyes here S connect with the soles of your feet imagine the power from above connecting flowing through you focus on your why your strength your vision Take a really nice big deep breath in. Open the eyes, bring the hands back together. Gaze up at the thumbs, bring the hands to heart center. Pause here for a moment. Standing tall and strong. So, we've strengthened, stretched and balanced. And now we're gonna move on to a meditation. And today it's a wonderful um, collar chakra meditation. So I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna do that either sitting in Sukhasana or lying down in Savasana. So find a comfortable position. If you prefer to do it standing in easy mountain pose, that's fine too. You just need to be able to be comfortable and relaxed and breathe easily with your back nice and straight for about five minutes. So let's meditate. So we'll start the meditation and end the meditation today with the sound of the Indian chimes. As you hear their sound, tune in to yourself, body, mind, spirit and emotion and let the sound of the chimes resonate. Then just take your awareness to where your body connects with the strength of the earth. Feel the earth's energy and power supporting you. So you feel calm, stable and relaxed. And then gently bring your awareness to the breath. And as you breathe in, breathe in a wonderful positive color that uplifts you. And then as you inhale, carry that color all the way down the spine and back as you exhale. Next, imagine a red energy. And as you breathe in that red energy, take it to your root chakra at the base of your spine. Let it circle around the base of your spine. And then gently carry that energy up your spine. And at the sacral chakra, imagine an orange energy. Feel that orange energy circling around the spine. 
and then gently guide it to spiral up the spine. Relaxing, energizing and connecting with your solar plexus chakra. Here imagine a bright yellow, powerful and strong, filling you with determination, willpower and strength. Feel that yellow energy expanding through the whole of your abdomen and your lower chest and then spiral it up your spine until you pause at the heart chakra. Here, imagine a green energy, this energy filling you with self-love, self-care and compassion. Feel that energy, strong, loving, kind and caring. And then guide that energy to your throat and here, imagine a blue energy, circling around your throat, relaxing your neck, giving you power for self-expression and then let that blue energy circle around your neck and gently spiral up, up to the center of your eyebrows, your brow chakra and here at the third eye chakra, imagine an indigo energy circling in a clockwise direction connecting you with your intuition and wisdom. Feel that positive purple indigo energy circling and lighting up your mind. And take your attention to the crown chakra just at the top of the head. Imagine that energy, either violet or white, circling around the crown of the head and connecting you with the universe the sky, something greater than yourself. And then close your eyes and imagine whichever color comes to your mind. Feel that positive energy, that positive power and enjoy this colorful, positive energy. Take a nice big deep breath in. And as you exhale, feel your spine growing longer, your body energized by the color. And enjoy this positive, colorful energy. So that you feel replenished, rejuvenated and restored. just notice the soft rhythm of your breath relax with that rhythm and gently say to yourself my chakras are balanced and I am grounded Repeat to yourself, my chakras are balanced and I am grounded. And then gently bring your awareness back to the sound of your breath. Any sounds you can hear, the music, my voice, maybe sounds in your room or outside your room. And as you gently bring your awareness back into the room, to the here and now, and we end this meditation, we'll end it with the sound of the Indian chimes. Let the Manjira's resonance bring you to an alert and energized 
relaxed state. And our affirmation, our blessing today, our um, positive thought, and our theme is trusting. It's a great way to anchor ourselves, like with the breath, to some wise words, some saying or phrase that can help us to find strength, self-development or spirituality. Knowing that the ups and downs of life are opportunities in disguise, I accept the journey at hand. Knowing that the ups and downs of life are an opportunity in disguise, I accept the journey at hand. So I hope you've enjoyed that mixture of movement, music, mindfulness and meditation. It's been a pleasure to share it with you. It'd be lovely to hear how you enjoyed it or what you thought in the comments. So I'll head over to my screen now. So I hope you enjoyed um, today's class and you feel relaxed and energized. It's sometimes one of those days when things, when you're live, things don't quite go as you planned beforehand or you practiced. But um, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been great fun to share my yo dance with you today. The colors, I love the color chakra meditation. It's a really positive, uplifting meditation. Um, so I'll see who's here in the comments hi tony oh great you enjoyed it thank you you like the variety fabulous christine you thought it was fabulous oh that's lovely thanks um trisha says i'll see you next week thanks trisha so i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you have a great week oh i've got something more to say actually so if um you you enjoy if you did enjoy this is live stream today oh i can't get my words out today if you did enjoy the live stream then you might like to join in with some of my zoom classes they are um either on a week, eight weekly program or drop in so drop me a line if you're interested to find out more it's a great way to work in small groups and be specific and work on great benefits of dance yoga and meditation so let me know if you'd like to join me uh, you can email me at um, katie at yodance.co.uk or th contact me through my social media and talking of social media if you enjoyed the music then do check out my um, meditation music channel great awakenings healing music and meditation it's got a wonderful selection of meditation music with um, some stunning videography as well edited in carefully so spend a lot of time um, carefully choosing the images and clips to go um, and editing them in to suit the music so it's a creative a wonderful positive experience so do remember to subscribe and hit the bell um, so that's um, you can find the links actually in the description below or above if you're on Facebook so thanks for joining me I'll be back next week same time same place that's 10 o'clock Sunday mornings and um, live streaming from my home here in Nottingham remember if you can't make the live stream you can always catch it up later in the week and whenever you watch it if you if you enjoyed it please do give me a thumbs up 
or a comment or a heart it'd be fabulous to know that you've enjoyed it i know some of you personal messaged me or texted me to say thanks so much you're enjoying doing them so i really appreciate those messages as well um, my yo dance originals from nottingham area but anybody please do let me know i love to get comments and feedback um, so yeah keep well keep healthy keep yo dancing and I hope to see you next week. Namaste. May the light within me shine with the light within you.